Do you want to make your virtual background in Zoom work better? Virtual backgrounds are all the rage right now, and they can be super helpful, but they don't always work perfectly. Like for, for instance, if you've got two people that you want to have on camera, like right now, here's my wife. There she is. And now here's my dog. Or if you're trying to demonstrate something, like you need to raise up your computer uh, and show people something. Uh, the, the background just doesn't work if you're using just the standard digital background. See there, my fingers disappeared too. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So the first step is to make sure that Zoom is up to date because Zoom is constantly doing updates to their software to make it work better. So let's do that first. So head up to the upper left-hand corner to Zoom on uh, this. I'm on a Mac, but it's probably similar on a PC and go down to check for updates. And it'll tell you if you have an update available and then just click update and install. And go through your standard install procedure. And that might be enough for you uh, based on how long it's been since you've done an update. If you've got really old software, it just might be really buggy. But for most people, what you're gonna need to do is add a physical green screen and then check a checkbox. So let me show you a green screen now. So I'm gonna set this one up and there's a link down below if you wanna purchase this one over on Amazon. You'll start these kind of fling out, so watch out. Um, but it's great, it holds it nice and steady. So what I'm gonna have to do is move myself a little bit away from the wall because I need to mount this and I can't do that behind the furniture. So let me move some things around. I'm gonna set this up behind the table and stand on the table. So this one comes with a tripod or a, a stand here. So I'm just gonna set this guy up right here. Okay, so just extend this up just past your head and there's a little piece that you add to the top here and we're going to use that to clip this on. So just clip this on, hold it kind of in the middle there and you can see we've got a green screen behind where I'll be sitting. So if I sit here and I've got my computer in front of me, and I've got it up on a stack of books so it's not looking up my nose. And let me try this in Zoom. So it's still set to the old virtual background where you're kind of seeing things all funky. So if you go down to video where there's an up arrow next to it, the video camera, click on that. And then where you choose your virtual background, go down here and click, I have a green screen. And you can see how it's changed now. But you can also see that I don't have it correctly behind me. So I've got this set up. Now I just need to get this so that that green screen is completely behind me. So I'm gonna to have to get closer to it. And this is one problem with this particular green screen is it's not super, super wide. So uh, it might actually be better to have one that's just a big green sheet or a big green wall, but this one is really convenient. So let me get this closer. There we go, that's about right. And now I need to raise it up. Scoot it around a little bit. There we go, perfect. So now when I hop in here, so here we go. Now it's set up. My fingers aren't disappearing so much. If I hold something up, it's not disappearing. If I have my wife come join me, uh, she's not disappearing. There we go. Also, if I have my dog come join me. So the only challenge with green screens is making sure that you are close enough. Um, so there's not a lot of space between me and the computer and the green screen right now. Um, I kind of wish that I had a little bit more space. It feels a little awkward um, to be this close to the camera. And depending on your camera, it might have might be really wide. So if you've got like a Logitech C930, it might be really wide. And so it would definitely see the edges 
of the green screen. So that is one of the challenges that you have facing a green screen. Another one of the challenges that you can't wear green. Well, I guess you could wear green if you wanted to have this kind of ghostly head effect. Let me show you what this looks like in real life. So there you go. You can kind of see what this looks like. And that's where the blue side comes in handy. You can switch it around, tell Zoom that your green screen is actually blue and your green clothing will show up again. This is a great green screen. There's a number of others out there that you could purchase too. These are definitely worth the effort and money if you are doing a presentation and you wanna avoid any distractions or any kind of strange things. They're gonna distract your audience from listening to what you're saying. And this definitely looks better if you've got better lighting on you and on the green screen. But it works pretty well even in the less than perfect situation that I'm in. And also note that these can be a little bit tricky to fold up. So uh, check out another video about folding up one of these green screens up here.